Ah, cats, aren't they lovable creatures? Hello. Yeah. This is just my draw, so this is gonna be replaced soon. I found some now about Patches, as he hates shelves. He used to climb on that shelf, that used to be very sturdy. I got rid of the middle bracket, bracket in there and replaced it for a, a, a picture of... To be honest, I made that when I was three. We are experimenting with like 3D sort of painting where the bridge looked different. It's odd. There used to be another shelving there, you can see the brackets. I lost all four, three brackets. It happens. Patches loves when it's sturdy, when it's something like this, up high. He loves when it's up high. I tried doing on that, but he hates it. So now I just use that for my books and my records, and my vinyls. My vinyl player is there. I get another monitor eventually, so. I need to figure out where to put the vinyl player. He loves it though. I need to figure out what I'm doing with these. I'm not actually turning this into a wardrobe. I'll be turning um, melamine, no, particle melamine, particle board. You know, the danger of particle board. Most woodworkers would hate particle board. I enjoy to make furniture. To be fair, I'm not much of a, not much of a, per se, woodworker. I'm more of a cabinet maker. That makes sense. This is just um, screwed on. It's using a certain type of bolt. It's um, a wood screw on one half of it, and it's a. M4 threaded bit on the other side, so you screw it into wood, and then the top half is a um, a threaded insert, which is what these use. I got that thing from old chair of a old lounge chair lids. They just screwed that thing into uh, the frame wood of the lounge, and then they screwed on the lids, threaded lids. Or was it the other way around? I always forget it was old lounge but it works wellish it's not actually sturdy it's um hidden something down there it went through there so it only has probably a centimeter of not so good pine in fact this pine is probably yep no that's plywood <laughs> That's not even pun, it's probably just some thin fucking plywood. I'm going to guess it's at least a centimeter. 10 centimeters, oof, that's a lot of ply. These drawers are old. In fact, that I've lost all the handles and put them on too many times. I eventually just used a screw that went too far. I've been trying to get that thing out, but the head is broken and I can't hammer it out. <laughs> I used it too long. <laughs> it's meant to be a handle. I used to be someone very good with labels. The labels work. I use them. I just prefer a sign or um, a logo or a picture. Yes. I don't know why ants, some people just love cats. You know, Patches, when it comes to drinks on the table, instead of him knocking them over, he would actually try drinking out of them. It's funny. Whenever you, someone is over with a cold drink, Patches is like, ooh, a cold drink. He, would have, he, he first goes for the uh, liquid at the sides of the cup that's formed because it's cold, and then he'll go for the actual cup. That's when someone who's not used to him doing that, Joe's, get away from my cap. I'm uploading a video at the moment. Patchy jumps up from here up to the floor, to there, to there. It's uh, now his regular spot. I moved this here and put that there. This normally is filled up with stuff, 
most of it went up there, but the printer went up here. It was originally there where the record player was, and then the record player went up there, printer came, and, and now I'm going to figure out what to do with both of those. <laughs> it takes time to figure out something, but it's so worth it in the end. Coat rat's being used at the end too. I haven't been able to do much really. I'd have only just got back my ability to move. I lost a lot of lead. I lost a lot of my muscle strain yeah, doing stuff, doing some exercise and I work, uh, I'd almost fell down. I had almost lost both of my lead movements. Uh, luckily I did. In fact, I lost one. And then I was walking to back from the toilet and I was like, oh, I can't feel my legs now. I fell onto my knees, luckily. It went feet, then it was the whole leg. I was able to bend my knees enough in time and catch myself. But, yeah, I don't know. It was hard. I couldn't move out of the bed for almost... I was poor in most places. If not, just holding on for dear life. When I put my whole weight onto my leads at the time, I just couldn't stand. It was so... Un Every time, I couldn't last for five minutes. I had almost fell and hit my head on the toilet. Eventually, that week, I had to actually sit to pee and poo. It's the worst bloody thing you can do to a man. When we are able to pee while standing, and then... I have to go to myself. I'm gonna have to sit this week. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's terrible, especially how people use our seats. I will say it's nice though, when our, our foster mum goes to a talk first, she has to sit down, she's normally on there for a while. It's kind of warm when you get on the seat. Mainly because she's fat. Right, that's a lot of body heat. I remember waking up at 9 in the morning. She normally leaves at 8.30 to drop off chai and goes to a tour that's... Uh, I don't even know why I measure time out for people's toilet routines. But uh, it was around 8. It was 2 hours after when I got back to a tour and it was still warm. I'm like, what? How the fuck can this, that woman radiate that much heat onto the seat? Patches, he's very nice. He, he uses the little bots in here. I can't. I'm actually. He, he's getting better to be outside. Charlie's a lot better. He's not a danger to animals. Especially ones that hurt, scratch, when they are mistreated. But I actually am used to Patches being in the room. I've had him in the room since I was 11 and he's one of the reasons I can sleep you know, alone in the room. I'm not very good when it comes to that, uh, but when I had him he always just slapped on the bed beside my pillows. He's a nice cat. We're basically almost brothers at this point. We think alike, we both have the same uh, sort of thinking when we are. Uh, I come up to an obstacle. Even when he was, even when I was younger, I looked at the door and I was like, "Ooh, the handle's there." Whenever Patch looks at the door, he looks straight at the handle and goes to me, "Meow, meow." Exactly, Patches. I know what you're talking about. He's asking for food right now. I mean, it's one of the easiest things to tell what he wants. I know what he wants most of the time because. He actually does communicate very well. He uh, uses his ears, points to things he wants. I mean, it's normally one or two things, but he actually has done it for quite a few things. Whenever I go have a shower, I let him out just to have a run. And other things, I normally let him out most of the time, but I let him out to go for a shower. As soon as I get out of the shower, he normally goes to the toilet before I get out. He knows my routine. I turn the shower off. 
but I tend to actually brush my teeth and then I help out. So he goes to the toilet then I can hear him going every time and then I get out and then I go just to where my room is. There's a hallway there and then it goes to my room. He's just sitting there waiting for me and as soon as I come out just walking all the way to the door with him meow 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 all right I'm going in and he goes straight in he could also just like having the desk to sit on I'm not a big fan of cats sitting on my desk but since I don't play as much as I used to I, like just nah, my mouth power has already got so much hair in it at the back, it's probably worse. I thought I had a light somewhere. Oh, here it is. If it works. Excuse me. There you are. I keep the light everywhere. It's just torture back there. And I eventually got my monitor raised up. That's a godsend. I'm a very... Um, well... I have two ways of playing games. I play Rocket League with a controller. And for games I play it with a controller at my desk. I tend to have my chair all the way down to be able to have room underneath there. Put the controller. And whenever I play keyboard games, I have this all the way... Just too high. Enough for my legs to cramp. But... I'm normally, I used to be, the monitor used to be just there, my head used to come up all the way to there, so if I had to look down, I raised it up a bit, so now normally my head's there, my eyes are normally flat f with the top when I'm playing that. It even is nicer when I'm sitting all the way down with the controller, I look up but it feels natural. And. That book right there is just law books. Law. Its real name is Law and Answers. Law, question, and answers, you know. In case you want to read up on your law. I read up one page when I before I put it under the monitor. And I was like, fuck that. I'll use this. I hate lawyers anyway. They've always been the worst part about Australian uh, people. Other than that and the pro, uh, politicians. Politicians. They're the ones who change the laws. The lawyers are the one who just takes all the money and leave. <laughs> and then they also take the orders. Uh, it's so funny to think back to Australian's history. Every single fight you would have against the Australian government and people, you would always have it ending with a, a lawyer, uh, a, a judge or a lawyer being paid off to say guilty to scare up the people. It's a, it's a very funny system that we used to have. It's still the system today. Just more open is the word to say, I guess. I'm not a big fan of politics. In fact, I don't have to worry about that until I'm 18. When I have, when I'm able, when I have to vote. But, uh, yeah, I so wish I was a full German. I wouldn't have to vote if I was a full German. Um, Australians, when it, the Australian when it comes to voting, you can have 50% of a different country and that means you can't vote. You move here, you can't vote. I don't think for a lot of countries. Where the hell is he doing? What are you going for? Oh, fly, that's what you're going for. Oh, maybe just a giant ant. I saw the bug. It looks like a fly without wings. Just brown. I mean, there's so many buds in Australia that you wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> I don't have to vote. Um, you can't vote if you've moved here from a different country and you live here. I remember hearing that from someone who moved here from New Zealand and he couldn't vote. And then there's also someone from South Africa. 
Africa, South America. I've met a lot of people from different nations. Surprisingly enough, I've even met a German, uh, um, a uh, American. They, <laughs> you know, when I listen to Germans about Australia, they say, it's got to be the worst country on earth. Everyone being, good aim, mate, when not keeping to their own things. Then I see so many Americans live here and they're like, <laughs> They get to the culture immediately. They're some of the nicest of people you can find in Australia too. Some of the most open. You can't find anyone more open than that. They always have the answer to everything. It's funny. They get to the culture. It's it's a, it's actually quite refreshing to see an American like that. Especially one that still has the American accent. It, it actually tends to die down later on, but... It's nice. I still have my Germanish accent. It just comes with me born with it. I born with the sounds. <laughs> seeing, seeing right. Uh, yeah, our culture is very manipulative. Uh, manipulating. It's a a culture that relies on people being nice to everyone. A culture that relies on everyone understanding. It's um. It's hard to wrap your head around, but yeah, yeah. When you live with this culture, that just connects like it and stays together. It's a very refreshing and best thing on earth. It's like living in Canada. Those people are more closed than Australia. It's why most people would actually prefer Australia to Canada when they're Canada. Canada when they're given a choice. One thing I will say about Canada though is they have better weather and better people who understand that weather. When you go to Australia, they would not understand snow. They would go, snow you say? I've been, I went to one town down south, just near the border of Queensland. <coughs> Down there it is actually, it does actually snow. Here it doesn't snow. But down there, an hour, five hours away, it did snow. 30 years ago. We went to one farm. Uh, it was a sort of gift shop-ish. It's what mum went to. It's a lavender farm. It had a gift shop and a, an eatery. Nice gift shop. It actually had a, a bean bag that was filled up with lavender and all keep that smell over time until it rots and mold begins to yeah one of the reasons I found out I couldn't be near mold you know, even with it being mold even with mold being in the room here I tend to cough up something but um we went there and she was like in her 70s she's been there for years and then somehow snow came up and uh, she was like, yeah, when snow is, snow is here, all right? Come back next year, you might be here. Yeah, it might be snowing. Oh, and someone in our group asked, oh, so when was the last time it snowed? 30 years ago. I won't be coming back there next year. Give, uh, give me a heads up. <laughs> I've never seen snow, actually. I haven't. I stopped traveling much when we were traveling when I was younger more open more social I lost that over my depression when I was eight and ten and eight to ten but uh, when I was younger we used to travel we went as far as uh, Northern Territory all the way down to the middle of uh, New South Wales I hate down there I love all the way up north into Queensland where you get part, when you on the other side of the Great Divide, it's just mountains and scenery, nature, wildlife. And then you get to the other side of the Great Divide and you find, oh, it's dead out here. It's basically the Northern Territory. We're not even anywhere close to it, but yeah. It's funny what Australia has happened. You can be somewhere completely different to where you were just an hour ago. 
um, here it's quite suburban. You have shops, you have city centers, you have normal stuff. But you can go 30 minutes out and then you find yourself trees. You find yourself a wild, uh, um, what is it called? A nature park or something. When I was working with a panel beater, I was a, uh, the farm is like 10, 15 minutes out. You literally just have to go down one street or oh, through that street and then you go up to a strange train station and you go to the right and you immediately are in a swarm of trees, properties that cost so fucking much. It's in unbelievable. You did that. He, um, the panel beater has been doing panel beating for almost 50 years, so his shop was quite old. 50 years almost, probably. Um, and up there was probably, oh, back then it was probably a lot cheaper to rent there, especially since 50 years ago, this house wasn't even built. This house was built in the 80s, which was 44 years ago. Jesus Christ, you wouldn't have, we, all here wouldn't be trees, so cleared out by then. It's funny, it's funny to think that. Yeah, come bud, I need to take my meds. It's 10.50, or it's almost 11. I don't bother taking meds early, because it just makes it worse. But I tend to work, my meds, Dosage was doubled. It hasn't helped me with my internal clock, but you know, nothing will. Four minutes ago for the video. Not this one, the uh, different one. is not even shown up on my tab yet. Alright then. Have a good one. Stay safe.